2015 East Village Gas Explosion From Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia, at www.wikipedia.org A gas explosion occurred in the afternoon of March 26, 2015, in a building located at 121 2nd Avenue in the East Village neighborhood of Manhattan, New York City. The explosion was caused by an illegal tap into a gas main. The explosion caused two deaths, injured at least 19 people, four critically, and the resulting fire completely destroyed three adjacent buildings at 119, 121, and 123 2nd Avenue between East 7th Street and St. Mark's Place. Background in early 2014, a meter reader for Con Edison, the utility company that delivers natural gas, electricity, and steam in New York City and in the metropolitan area, discovered that someone had illegally tapped into the 1.5-inch, 3.8-centimeter gas line, which serviced the Sushi Park Japanese restaurant at 121 2nd Avenue, the only part of the building authorized to receive gas service from Con Edison. The illegal taps were serving some of the apartments in the building. Con Ed turned off the gas to the building for ten days until the taps were removed, and the plumber who did the work certified to the city's building department that it had been completed. Neither the building department nor Con Edison were required by law to verify that the work had been done. In the days before the explosion, work was ongoing in the building for the installation of a new 4-inch, 10-centimeter gas line to service the apartments in 121 2nd Avenue. Con Edison workers inspected the installation just an hour before the explosion, but did not pass it, for reasons not related to safety. The new line was locked off and not operational. The row of buildings along 2nd Avenue between East 7th and 8th Streets had landmark status due to being part of the East Village Lower East Side Historic District, created by the New York City Landmarks Preservation Commission in 2012. The date for the original construction of the Queen Anne-style building at number 121 is not known, but it was altered around 1886. The Greek Revival one at number 123 was built around 1834 and altered to the neo greek style in 1913 by George F. Pelham, and the building at number 125, which was designed by Pelham in the Renaissance Revival style, was built in 1901. All three buildings were five-story tenements, with number 121 and 123 being old law buildings, and number 125 being a new law tenement. Explosion On the day of the explosion, Con Edison investigators had inspected a new gas pipe installation at 121 2nd Avenue, which remained turned off, and left about 2.45 p.m., Shortly afterwards, the owner of the restaurant smelled gas and called the landlord of the building, but they neither reported it to Con Edison nor called 911. When the contractor in charge of the work being done and the landlord's son opened the basement door, an explosion occurred, with the front of the restaurant being blown out across the street. The first emergency call started about 3.17 p.m. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio said, quote, The initial impact appears to have been caused by plumbing and gas work that was occurring inside 121 2nd Avenue. End quote. Eleven other buildings were evacuated as a result of the explosion, and Con Edison turned off the gas to the area. Several days later, some residents were allowed to return to some of the vacated buildings. City officials, including de Blasio, said they suspected that leaking natural gas was the cause of the explosion. The explosion sparked a seven-alarm fire, with 250 firefighters involved. Four firefighters were treated for injuries. Probable cause. According to law enforcement sources, the working theory is that one or more gas lines were surreptitiously tapped over several months using a device that was attached to the gas line with hoses, siphoning gas to other lines. The siphoning apparatus was dismantled or hidden on Thursday before Consolidated Edison conducted an inspection. As soon as the utility inspectors left, an attempt to resume the diversion of gas went awry, setting off the explosion. Impact The three adjacent buildings at 119, 121, and 123 2nd Avenue, on the northwest corner of East 7th Street and 2nd Avenue, were all completely reduced to rubble by the early morning of March 27, 2015. An adjacent building, 125 2nd Avenue, was severely damaged but is still standing. Residents of 144 apartments in 11 buildings were evacuated. Multiple residents and families in the impacted area lost their homes. Four food-related storefronts were completely destroyed, all located on the first floors in the collapsed buildings. East Noodle Ramen Shop at 119 2nd Avenue, Sushi Park, a Japanese restaurant at 121 2nd Avenue, and two restaurants at 123 2nd Avenue, Palm Frites, a Belgian fry shop, and Sam's Deli. 
An adjacent storefront in 125 Second Avenue was badly damaged. A month later, many businesses in the neighborhood were still recovering economically from the explosion, including six businesses, such as Burp Castle, which remained closed more than a week after the explosion, and six that were destroyed in the explosion. The Good Old Lower East Side, a nonprofit social organization in the neighborhood, organized fundraising and donation drives to help people affected by the explosion. Two men were killed in the explosion. The men, who had been in Sushi Park, a storefront restaurant in 121 Second Avenue, were identified as Moises Ishmael Lokonyak, a 27-year-old employee of the restaurant, and Nicolas Figuera, a 23-year-old customer on a date at the restaurant. They were initially reported missing, and their bodies were found dead three days later, on March 29th, in the debris of the explosion and fire in the 121 Second Avenue building. Investigation as of April 8, 2015, there is no official statement from city officials as to the cause of the explosion. The FDNY's fire marshals, the NYPD's arson and explosive unit, the New York City Department of Investigation, and the Manhattan District Attorney's Office are all conducting ongoing investigations into the incident. Detectives were proposing to charge the parties responsible for the explosion with criminally negligent homicide. Murder charges are possibly going to be filed for up to six suspects involved, which include landlord Maria Herenenko and her son, Kukik, another contractor who was not identified, and two workers also unidentified. Officials are focusing on plumbing and gas line work that was done in the 121 Second Avenue building, and they were looking into whether a gas line in the building, meant only for the restaurant on the first floor, was tapped into inappropriately. There were no permits issued for work to be done at 121 Second Avenue after November 2014, according to the New York City Department of Buildings. Two roommates who subletted an apartment at 129 Second Avenue, three buildings away from one of the collapsed structures, are planning to sue the city for $20 million each. Indictments and Arrests on February 11, 2016, Cyrus Vance Jr., the District Attorney for New York County, Manhattan, announced the indictment and arrest of five people in connection with the explosion, including building owner Maria Hernenko and her son, a plumber who used his city license to allow others to do work for him, the unlicensed plumber who did the work, and a contractor, Dilbert Kukika. The charges included manslaughter and negligent homicide. According to media reports, the indictments claim that the explosion was the result of an illegal scheme to tap a legal gas line, serving the ground floor restaurant to provide gas service to the renovated apartments on the floors above. Although lawyers for the indicted people were not immediately available for comment after the announcement of the indictments and arrests, earlier a lawyer for the building owner had blamed Con Edison for the blast, saying that, quote, they should have shut off the main valve, end quote. See also 2014 East Harlem Gas Explosion. This audio was recorded on December 13, 2018.